Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and guys, we are so close to one of the best times of the year. It is, of course, D23, and it is happening in three days' time for a full weekend event of all things Disney. All the announcements, just everything huge, and we know some huge things can be announced at these events. For example, in 20, I don't know, 18, 19, however long ago that was, they announced Disney Plus at D23, so these things can be absolutely huge. So for that reason, let's today discuss the top five things I'm most excited for about D23. And if you have anything else you're excited for, let me know down below in the comments. But before we go any further, please make sure that you click that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make any brand new videos. So, coming in fifth place, we have all the sequels and remakes that will be announced at D23. It is, of course, kind of like a tradition that we get lots of new stuff at D23 being announced, but also lots of things to add to the ever-growing several hundred franchises that Disney has currently. Currently, we're expecting to hear a lot more about the brand new Indiana Jones film, which has recently been filming. That is very cool, Indiana Jones 5. We're going to be hearing about the sequel to Avatar, of course, with the new film Avatar The Way of Water. We've got many remakes in the line. There's The Little Mermaid. There's, of course, sequels to some remakes that we've already had. It's going to be amazing. And, of course, there's so much stuff that we just don't even know about that they will announce at D23 to do with all of those established franchises. We might hear more about those Disney Plus TV show spin-offs to certain Disney films. For example, we've, of course, got the Cars uh, series on Disney Plus right now, and we had the Baymax series. We have been told in a few years back that they were going to have a Zootropolis series, a Moana series, so we might hear more about that. Let's just say we're going to hear so much about the sequels and remakes, and I literally cannot wait. Coming in fourth place, we have all of the brand new Disney movies and Pixar movies. I'm talking about your Walt Disney Animation Studios here. The people who make Encanto and of course you've got Pixar who made their most recent film Lightyear. What do they have in store? Well actually they've got some films coming out very soon and I think D23 is going to give us loads of information about them. Firstly we've got the Walt Disney Animation Studios film and this film is called Strange World. Now you might not have heard of it. There was a teaser trailer released a few months back but it didn't really get that much attention. I think D23 is really Really where they're going to start actually hitting the ground with this film and letting the whole world know about it. It's kind of like a adventure film, kind of different to what we've seen Disney do before. More on the Pixar side, in my opinion. So it's going to be really cool. I don't think it's going to be a musical like, say, Encanto. It gives me more of the vibe of the uh, Big Hero 6, Wreck-It Ralph, Ryan and the Last Dragon vibes of the Walt Disney movie. So we're going to hear loads about this brand new film, Strange World, which is coming out very soon. I cannot wait. And of course, in terms of Pixar, we're hearing about their brand new film, Elementals, which is very similar to Inside Out. As we know, Pixar loves to take something that is non-sentient and turn it sentient. They did it with toys, they've done it with emotions, they've done it with cars, I mean, you name it, they've done it with everything, souls. Now they're doing Elementals, and I think this is gonna be so cool. It's definitely given me the vibe of Soul and Inside Out mashed together. So we're gonna hear so much about that, I literally cannot wait. Coming in third place, we of course have the iconic Star Wars franchise. It is just continuously growing. Now, you might say that it's growing a bit too much. Maybe we just need a little bit of a break. But this is Disney. We know they just love to cash in on money. And we're Star Wars fans. Of course, we're going to go and see whatever they've got for us. So far, the Star Wars Disney Plus shows have kind of been a bit of a hit and miss for me. The Mandalorian, I didn't really like. The Book of Boba Fett. I didn't like as Boba Fett, but I liked it as Mandalorian season 2.5. You know, you'll understand what I mean if you've seen the show. Obi-Wan Kenobi, I really liked. I thought that was great. We, of course, have the brand new series Andor coming out, so we'll be hearing a lot more about that at D23. And there are so many other Disney Plus shows in the works to do with Star Wars and even potential movies. You've, of course, got Ahsoka. You've got Rogue Squadron. There's loads, and they might announce even more. Maybe it'll be a bit too much, however, we know D23 loves Star Wars and there's going to be loads of Star Wars stuff there, so it's something to get excited about. Coming in second place, we of course have the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I was talking before about how Star Wars has got so big. The MCU, it, it's too much to get your head around. Honestly, 
the amount of stuff that comes out, I, I just can't keep up with it nowadays. And of course, in the last few months, we of course had San Diego Comic Con, where Marvel and Kevin Feige announced loads to do with the upcoming phases. They announced pretty much all of Phase 5, and of course, the two final films of Phase 6, uh, the two Avengers films, and they're basically just building up the multiverse saga. I reckon we haven't actually got all of Phase 5 yet. There's a few things maybe missing, maybe a new Spider-Man film and such. So I reckon we're going to hear a lot more about Phase 5, and we're going to hear a bit more about Phase 6, maybe even Phase 7 if they really want to go for it. And who knows, of course, the big thing that we're all waiting for as MCU fans is the introduction of mutants. We of course had Miss Marvel, we know the X-Men are coming at some point, maybe D23 is finally going to be the time where they announce that the X-Men are officially coming properly. Like, I know we've had hints of it, I know we've had you know interviews saying maybe mutants can come this might be the moment where they actually officially say this movie here this is where the mutants are going to be in it so i can't wait for that the mcu it's going to be huge as it always is at d23 and finally in first place we have disney plus additions I like to call it that because D23 over the past few years has been known to just be a place where they can market Disney Plus and just add so much to it. We've of course been talking about all the Disney Plus spin-off shows that they're going to be adding, but also Disney Plus was announced at D23, they introduced a star at D23, they do so much stuff with Disney Plus and I think that is exactly what is going to happen. We're going to get huge announcements for how they're going to, you know, increase the platform, how they're going to make the streaming service even better. So hopefully that'll be really cool as well. But guys, what do you think about my list here? Are you excited for D23 as much as I am? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and what else are you excited for about D23? And as always, we've been here in Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.